Good morning. It is Saturday afternoon. <laughs> it's not good morning anymore. Um, we just got a phone call, or, well, a little while ago, saying that we won one of the library prizes, and we'll let you listen to the message. I wanted to let you know we did the summer reading raffle, and you won the organic seeds. Yay! So they will be in the front desk. You can pick them up anytime you guys are in. Hi, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Boys are looking at a monarch butterfly that's flying around our yard, and it likes the uh, milkweed. There it is. It's are you pretty. Sure it's not a viceroy. That's a monarch. Daddy, that monarch is not. Viceroys are smaller. There were five to six different options you could put your raffle tickets in to get your prize at the library, and I did mine. And there was you could win a Kindle, an Amazon, something. I don't know what it was. Um, a coloring book. Let's see, there was a creative writing kit to write a memoir. Um, oh, there was the uh, non GMO heirloom seed kit or a gardener's bench. And I kind of hemmed and hawed. You probably know which two I was hemming and hawing over the gardener's bench or the heirloom seeds. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna put them all in the heirloom seeds. So then it was Art's turn, and Art goes to the little boxes, and Mommy I'm like, I wonder where he's gonna put it. So anyways, Art ended up putting the seeds, um, all of his tickets in the seeds. And of course, everybody goes for the big items, like the Amazon, whatever it was, and the Kindle Nook, or the Kindle Fire, or Amazon Fire, I don't, I don't know what it was. Amazon Kindle Fire. John knows what it was. We chose the, the seed kit, so I'm excited about that because I don't know what's in it, but I'm sure we can grow it next year. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but this was for the summer reading program. So every, I think it was 250 minutes that you read, they would give you a raffle ticket. Just a, it's just a ticket to put in the box for to win one of the prizes for reading. And Art had, I had a whole bunch. Like 200 and 2,000. 400? 7,000 minutes? Wow. Seven. No, 2,700 minutes. It was some insane amount. Of course, he can... Yes. I um, did 3,200. I like to count books on CD, and I like to listen to books on CD while I work. So that's how I got so many minutes. Uh, I have four little girls in the wagon, uh, right behind Mary. Uh, Lydia's holding Lillian. <laughs> so we have a rather intimidating crew here. Somebody from the emergency squad has gone on a day trip and they had a dog, and they live close to us, so they asked if we could stop by and walk the dog once or twice while they were gone. So we're walking to the library first, but then on our way back, we'll swing by and take the, it's a Basset door, so it's a Basset hound and a Labrador mixed together. <laughs> big, big friendly pooch. We found a rock and someone painted it. What does it say? Love. And it's at the library. So. Like, love you. We won Captain Underpants and the Attack of the Talking Toilets. I'm just kidding. Look at what I, what I got. They're seeds for our garden. Are you going to have it? I have it. fire station. The kids are looking at the Lego creations that the other kiddos built around the oh. area. Oh, there's a library. Yeah, that looks a little bit like our That's library. It's pretty good. Yeah. Santa's at the library. Huh. <laughs> Santa's at the library. Oh, where? Right there, Santa. Yeah. Well, then you have the Lakeside Farm with the witch. Do you see the witch? Oh. There's a Star Wars guy in there. And there's also something else. What's there? there? Just like mine. Oh, and yeah. Oh, you have, have a girl just like that? Yeah. No, you see what's in the box. You couldn't tell you couldn't tell from the description when we put it in. All right, it's a saving seed, saving our vegetable diversity. It's a non-GMO project, open pollinated, and we have corn, tomato, hang on, tomato, pepper, red onion, eggplant, corn, carrots, broccoli, probably some type of greens, maybe. Artichoke. Oh, oh, artichoke. Oh, cool. That'll be fun growing artichoke. Smile. Oh, you yeah. found another rock? Smile. It says smile. Oops, oh. oops, 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 oops. I just popped open the seeds. That's not cool. Can I? This is, oh, celery. Utah celery. Huh. And. Broccoli, cucumbers. Um, corn? Cucumbers. Corn. Oh. Oh. 
This will be fun. I wonder how many are in here. Don't get it. Oh, well. Oh, a good amount. <laughs> yeah, a few. <laughs> Can I see how many there are? It's a sampling. That's cool. That's very neat. I want to see what's Next one. year, we'll be able to grow all those. Wow, carrots. lots of carrots. Can I see? Hmm. Yum. 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 They're like yeah. seeds. You know what? Seeds are the beginning of it. Yeah, it, it kind That's of. That's one I really want. It's exciting because I found, I found one. Where you're was really, it? Oh, you're hopeful like. of what Mary the season will be like. like. Oh, she found another rock? I don't know what it's Oh. Yeah. You found a rock? Say, Mary. Oh, you put it back. What does it say? Living heart. Another one. Eyes. Eyes. Wish. It says wish. There's probably one on this guy. Let's see. Nope. There's legs. Nope. Nope. None on him. Well, that little guy needs one. Maybe we should paint Maybe one for him. One. How you doing, mister? There. Now the little guy has love. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, pretty guys? We're ready. All right. Hey. Grace, stay out. So there's the, road. there's the doggy, and Charity is going to walk the doggy. Hey, doggy. Hey. Hey. Okay, down and go in here and sit my back. <laughs> and the dog likes animal crackers of all things. Probably too Probably much excitement. Mary. Now and Charity are gonna go walk the dog and I'm gonna take the rest of the kids home. Hey guys. Oh you did. Oh, At least he, he doesn't have he doesn't have very far to sit. Seeing people and just soaking up the attention. So what do you say? Art? You think we should get a dog? No. <laughs> well, can I get another kid? Okay. Dog. You know what? Dog it's nice to have to take care of other people's dogs. You can enjoy them and then Give send them, them home. And Lily like poisoning her. And by the way, I really do like dogs. I just like other people's dogs. Hey, doggy. <laughs> it's okay. You won't bite. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hank. Go down. Say hi to him. Hi, guys. <laughs> this looks funny having a dog added to our family. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock at night, and I am in the process of canning green beans. And now I'm going to start the process of canning peaches because we just had to pick a bunch of peaches off the one tree piece they were dropping and going bad way too quickly. So I picked a bunch of them last night, but they're not gonna make it through the weekend without me doing something with them. And <clears throat> I looked in my book about canning and stocking up and things like that, and I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna bite the bullet. Instead of freezing them, which has a not as good of a quality of a product when you're finished with it, I, I thought I would try, I can them. So that's what I'm working on. You can see we have this whole bucket here of peaches that have to be sorted out. We did not weigh these yet. And then they have to be washed, peeled, and skin, put in the canning jars. And then over here we have another container. And then over there, there's some um, more. So you can see we have a lot of peaches. Um, I'm not sure how many quarts we're gonna get done tonight. Probably seven, if that's what my canner has. And this has my um, green beans going right now in it and then I have some more fresh produce over here So it's really a crazy time in the kitchen and it's not gonna be clean before I go to bed tonight This is what we've got going on. These are being dipped and boiled for about a minute And then they are being transferred over to here to the boys who are peeling the skins off for me And then in this pot we have oh well, it's almost overflowing These are all the peaches that we have skinned so far and then this has some lemon juice to prevent them from browning. This is almost overflowing, so I'm gonna to have to start another pot. I have weighing going on here so we can keep track how much we have. 
and then I have Art over here sorting them out. I came home a while back to help Janelle and we're just doing up our last batch right there. Yeah, we've got actually, I think, six more. Okay, there. a few more. Yeah. These are the jars that are ready to go. They look good, don't they? The jars are all filled and we got seven quarts all together. And there they go, ready to get canned. Mm. And look at the time, 11.30. Oh. Yes. It's crazy. Why do we do this to ourselves? Because we have peaches. <laughs> but I know that in the dead of winter, we are going to love these. They are going to be delicious. And we're going to say, oh, that's what summer tastes like. You know that, Art? Yes. That is what we're going to say. And it's worth every ounce of hard work and sleepless, well, I don't know if it's worth the sleepless nights, but... The hard work, yes. Sleepless, work. well... So there's the fruits of our labor for the day. Literally, the fruits yes. of our labors. They look nice, don't they? Yeah, it's always worth it in the end, Art. I know there's a lot that we did not video today because a lot more happened than you guys saw. Uh, but we, it was just so crazy and we were so tired today that we just didn't get all the videos, so... Uh, good night. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you tomorrow.